Hi, I'm Laura Greenwald, author of Get Your Stuff Together, the brand new program, The Backup Plan 3.0, and co-creator of the Ready and 10 system. Welcome to the Backup Plan channel, where we give you quick and easy tips to safeguard your home, your keepsakes, and the people you love from life's little and not so little emergencies. In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your favorite voicemail or answering machine messages to your computer for safekeeping. When we first started writing our books, I was really surprised to hear how many people have old voicemails on their phones and answering machines that they just choose to keep for sentimental reasons. For some people, it was the news of a new arrival to the family or a job offer that they've been waiting for. For others, it's the last message or old voicemail greeting of a loved one who's passed away. The problem with keeping voicemail messages this way is that one hiccup from a cell phone carrier or a badly timed power outage and their message will be gone forever. That's exactly what happened to one Chicago woman. Her son died in a sudden automobile accident and she couldn't bear to erase his last message to her. So she religiously resaved the message on her cell phone every two weeks until one day when her carrier changed storage systems and lost the message. She was absolutely beside herself. Thankfully, weeks later, the cell phone company found the message, put it onto a CD, and sent it to her. But when a recording is that important, you just can't leave it up to chance, hoping that it never gets erased. And backing it up is so easy to do, you'll wonder why you didn't do it months ago. Well, the first thing you have to do is figure out what method is best for your particular system. Usually, messages are in one of three places. They're on your cell phone's voicemail, on a digital answering machine or a landline voicemail system, or on an answering machine that uses a cassette tape. Let's start with your cell phone's voicemail. Most smartphones have an option right in the voicemail to save the message. That's the easiest method because your phone will save the recording for you, usually as an MP3. Then all you have to do is download it to your computer via Dropbox, iCloud, or your OneDrive. Or you can simply email the file to yourself, then store it on your computer and a portable hard drive for safekeeping. If you have an older cell phone that doesn't let you save your messages as files, you can turn it into an MP3 with a MyCorder, We'll cover this one in a minute, or you can call your cell phone carrier and ask them how to download a voicemail onto your particular phone onto a computer. Next, what if a message is on a cassette tape or on a voicemail? Let's start with the message that's on a cassette tape. The easiest way to archive it is to simply save the tape, which would be fine if this was just a simple message. Since it's not, and since cassettes have a habit of breaking, you really need to back up the message and save it to your computer as an MP3 for safekeeping. Our favorite tool to use for this, and also for backing up messages from older cell phones, is a MyCorder. A MyCorder is an amazing little device from Olin's Technology. You can find them at www.olinstechnology.com. A MyCorder will record any type of video from any device as long as it has a headphone jack and save it as an MP3. You just plug the patch cord, which is included, into your cassette player or your cell phone's headphone jack play the message, and MyCorder will turn it into an MP3 so you can transfer it to your computer for safekeeping. It also works amazingly well to turn cassettes and vinyl albums into MP3s. Finally, a way to get all of your favorite music onto your smartphone or tablet. If the message is on an answering machine with a digital chip, there are only a couple of options. The simplest option is to play the message out loud and record it onto a digital recorder. And don't forget that there's a digital recorder on your smartphone just in case you don't have a regular one at home. If your answering machine has an earphone, you can also use the MyCorder to turn the message into an MP3. Or you can use a patch cable and record the message directly onto your computer using Sound Recorder for Windows or QuickTime for Mac to save it as an MP3 for posterity. Or you can leave it to the professionals. If you have an old cell phone with a treasured message on it and you would rather leave the archiving to the professionals, it might be time for you to go to CBW Productions. You can find them at www.cbwproductions.com all one word, dot com. They'll make a copy of any message that's on your cell phone's voicemail and email you the MP3 copy. Or if you would rather, they'll send it to you on a CD. The next time somebody leaves you a message that you never want to lose, do yourself a favor. Take five minutes to back it up. And if you have any messages that you need to back up that we didn't cover here, please let us know in the comments below so we can help you figure it out. I'd love to hear your questions and comments, so take a moment to post them below and use the share buttons to share this video with your friends on social media. For more tools and resources, visit our blog at bit.ly forward slash backup plan blog. And if you haven't signed up for our free four-part video training series yet, go to keepthisbookinyouriphone.com and sign up. Until next time, have an extraordinary day.